what seems to be all the rage now is to be able to shoot and edit in 3D. And so new here in Edia 6.5 is the ability to be able to bring in stereoscopic clips and place them together and be able to edit with those. Edius also has, and I can't show this here because of the fact that we don't have the facilities to be able to do so, but if you, on your computer, you have the ability to be able to hook up a 3D monitor and see in 3D, you can actually edit in 3D. Not just edit 3D clips, but edit in 3D. Wear the glasses so you can be able to see how it looks, you'll be able to work on it and see exactly how it looks when it's going to go out. Once again, there's really not a spot here for 3D, so I'm going to go ahead and start a new sequence. Like I did before, I'm going to just name it, select OK, and then I'm going to come up here to my bin and I'm going to grab my 3D footage. Now this wonderful footage I got from Artbeats.com, Artbeats has been very kind in helping me have a lot of footage that I was be able to use during this training. They're good folks over there. What I'm going to do is, is that here I have one shot left eye with the L, one shot right eye with the R, so I'm just going to select both shots. And then when I select both shots and have them highlighted, I'm going to right click and then I'm going to come in and set them as stereoscopic. Now once I do this, I get this window popping up and it's going to sit there and say, oh, okay, I'm going to give you a clip name here and this is the left eye and the right eye. It's going to allow me to be able to do them backwards and forwards just in case they were labeled wrong or something of that nature. I can go through it and kind of sit there and take a look at it. Select OK. And now a new clip has shown up in my bin window. Now this is not a new clip per se as it has been created, but it's combined the two clips together. And now I can just bring it down and edit it just in the same way that I would edit any other clip. It's sitting on my timeline right here. I'm able to sit and play through it. I can play through it in real time, be able to see it. I can cut it. I can add a transition if I want to be able to add a transition into it and just be able to use it as a normal clip. Now with some cameras, and I know that with Panasonic I had seen this, and I'm not sure if everything has been fixed out on this yet or not, but the different type of clips you can use, you can use like the 3DA1 clips from Panasonic, the MVC clips from Sony, Panasonic, and JVC. You can use 3DP2 from Panasonic, and you can use 3D clips taken from a 3D conversion lens. So basically, almost any type of 3D you can bring in and be able to edit on. Now, you're not held, by the way, just to exactly whatever you happen to have at that moment, and that's the way it's going to look. Because if you're able to edit in 3D, then I can go into my effects right here, go into my video filters, come down to basically the bottom of it right here, and I'm just going to be looking for it right here, and there is my stereoscopic adjuster. I'm going to place it on the clip. Sure enough, it's in my information window. I double click on it and now I can go in. Now look at these key framers right here. I can key frame the horizontal, vertical, zoom, rotation, keystone, trimming, the whole bit for either the left eye, the right eye, or both with complete and total control of key framing right here. I can also come in and talk about my horizontal. I can change my convergence a little bit and be able to move things around. In reality, I can come in and literally do very minute or very huge adjustments to my shots to help that 3D feel and make sure that it's going to work correctly. Now, the other thing about 3D on this is, is if I come up to view up here and I go into stereoscopic mode, I can view if I don't have a way to see 3D. I can view left eye only, right eye only, and notice that that moved just a tad bit in that window. Or I can come in and I can do a blend, top and bottom. I mean, I have all the different ways of being able to combine these together to get the 3D look. And then, like I said, with glasses, I can be looking at a monitor. If you have like the Grass Valley hardware that outputs in 3D, or if you have a monitor that comes off your computer and your video card's capable of doing 3D, either way, you can see 3D with the glasses on and be able to work in 3D, not just on 3D.